Hey what's up guys, my name is Sam, I'm a photographer and filmmaker based here in Malaysia and today I want to talk about a new camera, uh, no it's not the newest R, it doesn't have the highest megapixel, it doesn't have the fastest frame rate, it doesn't shoot the slowest slow motion, it's this. Uh, this is the Canon Inspic S uh, camera and printer. took longer than I expected. <laughs> so I want to talk about this camera and printer specifically from the perspective of a professional photographer. Most of the time I'm shooting with this. This is a 5D Mark IV or an EOS R. Uh, these are professional bodies. They take really, really amazing pictures. This has currently now found a place, a permanent place in my camera bag. So let's talk really quickly about what this is. If you know about the Canon mini photo printer, this is the exact same thing, it's just that this has a camera on it. So really this is one of the more exciting things that I have placed in my bag and the reason for that is because it adds a new layer of value uh, for the people that I shoot for. Uh, so I just want to really quickly talk about the camera itself, it has an on, on and off button, it has a fill, it has a flash, uh, it has this mirror on the front where you can take selfies if you want it has this viewfinder inside you can change your aspect ratio to 2 by 3 or a square it has a charger you can actually put a micro SD card inside here I uh, can print out straight or you can connect to your phone and print out straight from there it uses proprietary zinc paper so you got to keep that in mind but that's about it this is a really really simple thing it's a I mean it's an instant camera you just snap and you print it out and so where I use this is really as I am shooting I usually just shoot a couple of this and on the shoot itself I can actually just pass it to whoever I'm shooting for and it adds this really really new and uh, unique experience that only instant cameras can give so let's just take a quick picture it goes something like this uh, the one thing I've noticed about this is, is that it kind of prints a little bit slow so I, when I'm shooting I don't actually uh, shoot specifically with this alone so what I would do is I would shoot some pictures with my DSLR shoot 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 and in the meantime halfway through I might shoot with this and then I'll let it print I'll continue shooting again and then by the time I'm done uh, the print would have come out already and then I can just rinse and repeat and that's how I do it and so as you can see pretty long uh, but that's part of the process and I think that that really adds a lot of value when you're shooting halfway with this and with this and interestingly enough you can actually print uh, double exposures onto this uh, essentially this is an old picture that I already took and I just placed it back in and you get this but so in terms of a review, there's nothing much to review about it besides the print quality. And I'm going to say if you're looking for high quality prints, this is not the camera you're looking for. But that's really what's so special about it. When you're talking about instant film or you're talking about instant cameras, it's not so much about the quality but it's about the imperfections that come with shooting things like this. Instant cameras are not supposed to be perfect. There's something special about just taking a picture, uh, printing it out and handing it over to whoever you're shooting for right there and then. It gives this really really special special kind of feeling that's very hard to evoke when showing uh, pictures from behind the screen. So really I have nothing much to complain about this camera. It does exactly what it's supposed to do and I highly encourage that if you are a portrait, if you're a family or if you're a wedding photographer, you should really pick something up like this because it can give your client something special that not many photographers can do. It's really small small things like this that add a unique value to your clients and it's something that you should learn to invest in beyond just you know expensive cameras, expensive glass and things like that. It's trying to learn and invest in experiences and that's how you get repeat clients, that's how you make your name out there and that's really how you brand yourself as a unique photographer. If any questions do let me know I'll be more than happy uh, to answer them in the comments and email and things like that uh, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one